friends. Welcome back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. Woo. Nice. <laughs> um, so for this week, we're doing part two of weird slash bad things that you all did as a kid. Yes. Could In between the last episode and this one, could you remember anything bad that you did that you wanted to share with the class? Bad or weird? Um... Not that I can think of. I know I already told my story about calling a kid Jumbo. That was pretty bad, but, you know, ends justify the means, in my opinion. I was trying to think. I thought of one the other day. Um, fuck. I can't remember what it was. Oh, I did tell the story on my show, my show too, though, about um, Stuart Little. When I call that girl Stuart Little. Oh, yeah. In defense of you. Yeah. Oh, wait, that wasn't even on my show. That was on a different show that I was on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was on Anthony's show. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, so they, uh, the thing with me is that I was a really good kid. I was a really good uh, student. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes, sometimes I had an attitude sometimes problem. Sometimes that rising Sagittarius <laughs> really showed up. Well, it really tracks like what I do now because there was lots of things I did as a child where I was like standing up for other kids or uh Dason, just specifically they said yeah i had done i had done many many things being mean to yeah. other yeah like when we were in preschool men. like up until drew before drew came in the same class as me mm -hmm. when i'd play house with people they always made me like <laughs> the dog or the butler or the dad <laughs> well i don't know i'm gay yet don't make me the dad <laughs> no that's true they would do that because they were mean and then drew was like we're not doing that i'm the mom she's my sister and you know what you're the dog <laughs> <laughs> that's because Dason was so sweet and like demure uh as a child especially that like I think um mean girls or like manipulative kids like could smell it on her so they would like take advantage of her and I like really fucking hated that so that's like a big reason I feel like uh you do what you do now. <laughs> yeah, like I just feel so I fucking hate when people take advantage of people that would never swing on them ever. You know yeah. what I mean? They would never say anything, they would never do anything back, right? They would just kind of eat it. Yeah. I really fucking hate people who do that. And then I'm really mean to them mm -hmm. and somehow I'm the bad person. <laughs> bully. So, bully. You're just a hypocrite bully. Dude. <laughs> The amount of fucking dude. Remember when I, I said this isn't the first white man to talk about me with glasses, and it won't be the last. And then he told me I was ableist for saying that he wore glasses. I think it's so funny when they say that, but they call you a fat bitch in the same breath. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and then they tell me fat phobia is not real. Just go to the gym. I'm all. I have to wear my glasses. So do I. <laughs> like, <laughs> bitch, I got an astigmatism in both eyes. So now what? Uh, anyways but like i it's like shit like that that really um upsets me yeah. it really upsets me so i did plenty of shit like as a kid not just for Jason, for other kids too yeah like defending them and uh being mean to people that were being mean yeah. to them i feel like i didn't really start standing up for myself till sixth grade <laughs> <laughs> yeah um i don't know it what took happened. a bit yeah. it took a bit um when what grade were you in? I was in eighth grade. Yeah, eighth grade. I was in seventh. So Should we say where we went to middle school? No. Okay. <laughs> At our middle school. If you went there, then you know, you know. It was like government yeah. week or some shit. I can't remember. Yeah, it was Congress. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't our middle school was weirdly progressive. Mm. We in in the sense of like like the things that they would teach us. Like Do you ever think back to your teachers and like wonder, like, I wonder if I smelled a conservative in here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Um, but we had like Congress week where we were like, we were acting as if we were in Congress. We were trying to get like a bill passed or something. Yeah. I can't remember. So we would like rally together. So that was in eighth grade. In seventh grade, you got to do the Renaissance fair or what do they call it? Yeah. Renaissance fair. Yeah. Medieval times. Yeah. Whatever. And it was so fun. Every seventh grade history class was a different country. Yeah. And then like the king and the queen of your class, which okay, gendered, but were yeah. the kids with the top grades in your class. Yeah. And then they chose. No, you voted on it. Not when I did it. Oh, when, when I, did I did it, you got to vote. And it was my really good friend, Sana, and I was so excited that she oh, yeah. was the queen. Yeah. But she um, would pick everyone's roles. Yeah. Like, the, her and the king would do that. And then for the whole day for the Renaissance Fair, you were all competing in, like, 
games, games and stuff. And like, but even like crafts, like they were yeah. painting and like building stuff. We had stuff. archery. Yeah. Like, like why the fuck were they letting us shoot bows and arrows when I was like 11 years and old? And we're all eating like turkey legs and mashed yeah. potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> and when I tell Billy that story, he's like, that's made up. And I was like, I'm, I'm dead serious. That's so what my fun. middle school did. Yeah. yeah. But um, speaking of when I was in seventh grade, I remember too that like um, some people in my class, they wanted, I was England. That was my okay. colonizer stay. Ooh, I was Ireland. <laughs> yeah, we were, uh, we were England, but we were voting on king and queen. Like when I was doing it, you got to vote. So it was a popularity contest more than anything. Yeah. But a lot of people asked me if I wanted to be queen and I said, no. Oh, I forgot no. about this. Yeah. So I was funny. like, no, I don't want to be queen. Cause there's a lot of extra shit you had to do. Like yeah. you had to write essays and shit. And I didn't want to do that. So yeah. that would be like part of competing. Yeah, yeah. But you would, they, we literally had like casts, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. of a hierarchy. So like, it went from queen all the way down to peasant. Like you could be a peasant. I was a peasant. And if you were a peasant, no, you weren't. Yeah, I was. I was just reggae. I didn't have a job. Oh no. There were other people that. I didn't have a job. Maybe I was a lady. I, I was know. a lady. Yeah. Maybe I was a lady. Dude. I was like, I'm not being a peasant. <laughs> no way. Like, cause I wanted to do the maple dance. Yeah, yeah, I did. That's the only I, thing I remember. I didn't want to, I didn't want to be a peasant cause I wanted to dress up and we had to go rent costumes from this peasants one. Peasants didn't dress up? No, they had to wear rags because they were peasants. <laughs> they had to be, they had to be dirty and they had to wear rags. Okay. Yeah. I was a lady. I and that's remember. why I was like, and that's why I said you were not a peasant because, and I really wanted to wear like a dress with yeah. like the hoop skirt and all that shit. I had like a corset like on top of so the did I. shirt. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, I don't want to be a queen and I don't want to be a peasant. So I'm going to be a lady. So yeah. I told everyone, make me a dame. That's what I want to be. Oh, okay. So yeah. like we voted on everything and that's where we're like, okay. But um and everyone has to call me Princess Diana all day. Yeah. And yeah, <laughs> right. The people's princess. And there was someone there was a princess too. Yeah, I didn't I didn't I even want to do that. And I, I also was remember like, there was a whipping boy and a jester. Yeah. <laughs> I should have been a jester. That would have been funny. And we picked the kid everyone hated to be <laughs> That's kidding. really fucked. It's you're not kidding, and that's the, that's the <laughs> he tape. loved. He thought it was funny though. He was like annoying. Yeah, anyway, and so the okay, gesture was always like the, the class funny class. kid. Yeah. yeah, so I wanted to be a lady or a dame because there was no jobs, and I could look pretty, and <laughs> there was no job. Yeah. So I was like, cool. Uh, but I remember in my grade, um, the girl that ended up winning queen. Mm -hmm. Um, in your class yeah, yeah the people in my class were really like didn't like her for whatever reason I don't remember why but mm -hmm. like they were s passing around this list that said behead the queen to be funny like <laughs> it's like kid shit it's it was change.org yeah it was just <laughs> before and then it grew up to be change.org <laughs> no it was literally like it's just so silly like they were doing it to be mean and like someone was like do you want to sign this and I was all, I'm not signing that shit it's mean yeah and I was all and I'm not signing that shit because it's mean and what if someone finds it and then everyone on that list is gonna get in trouble yeah and then we had a, me 10 steps ahead of you yeah, yeah. me constantly me planning for the future i'm like y'all are fucking dumb and then uh i remember she found it she turned it into the teacher he turned it into the principal the assistant principal fucking hated me and dason yeah maybe just primarily me but like no me too she really fucking didn't like me i think she was really racist which the school was like 95% brown. So. Yeah. So, but she was an old white lady and she fucking hated me and Dayson. Wait, was it, uh, oh yeah. 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 It was really nice. No, yeah. this lady was just a mean old lady. No, she was literally, she was a bigot for yeah. sure. Um, she's, if she's still alive, she's a fucking Trumpy for sure. Yeah. But she, she was, we know where she was. January yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She was that old lady. Like, Anyway, this is the Mima that they yeah. Of. <laughs> she found this list. She knew that was my class that I was in. This bitch called me into the principal's office. My name wasn't even on there, mm -hmm. and she was like, "What's the meaning of this?" And then I go, "I don't know." And she goes, "Have you seen this before?" I go, "Yeah." Someone, I, I said, "Yeah, I saw it, but I didn't sign it because I think it's mean." And then she was like. Um, telling me she was going to give me detention for like the rest of the year because I was the one who made it. And I would go, and I was telling her, my name's not even on it. But it wasn't even just her. The queen girl thought that you made yeah, it for whatever she's reason. the one. Who, well, I, I think that the principal put that idea in her head. That's what I think. Uh, I think it was like a gaslight. Like she was like, it was probably Drew, huh? Because they knew I was the other person that was up for a queen, but I said no. Yeah. So then I go and I told her, I, she's like, maybe you That's were. That's because you guys both had the highest grade in the class. I wasn't yeah. even considered. <laughs> I was just there for a good That's time. True. I do love school. So <laughs> she was like, uh, 
yeah, I think I'm going to, you're going to get suspended for this, like blah, blah, blah. And I was like, bro, what the fuck? And then I told my mom, cause she kept me out of class for like an hour, like questioning me about that shit. Like I was like, a. Uh, interrogation yeah and then my mom came to the school and lit that bitch up because she was like you're just accusing my daughter you have no fucking proof you you know what i mean and you're keeping her out of class for what her name's not on it she said she didn't fucking do it and it's just because she was racist but anyways that happened but yeah, yeah, we talked, why were we talking about, oh, cause oh, we we're talking about Congress so Week. So Congress Week, you, oh, yeah. everyone had to dress up. So all the boys were like ties and the girls wore dresses. Yeah. And we were literally yeah. acting as if we were in Congress, which is kind of nutty yeah. if you think about it now. So I'm in eighth grade and Drew's in seventh grade. Yeah. yeah. So we are, we are dressing up. Um, well, you weren't, I was. Yeah. I, yeah, exactly. The eighth graders were all dressing up. Um, and I've brought this up to people before, like as an adult, I'd be like, did your, um, the kids in your school ever go through a phase where they were slapping girls' butts? Everyone always says yes. No. Really? Yeah. yeah. Everyone I've ever spoken to goes, no. And I'm all, you guys didn't have that phase? Because we did. And I don't know what the fuck it was. Because it was only slapping women. It was never men. Like, if they were doing, if the men, because it was only men hitting women. Yeah. Well, men slapping women's butts. I said that really yeah. weird. But if they were doing it to other men, they were doing it really hard to like hurt them. It was like to be funny. The, the yeah, yeah. But for women, it was just to sexually harass and assault yeah. them. Like, and I don't know, like, I don't know what the fuck happened, but I remember when it started, I was like, don't I, touch me. I literally yeah. was like, I swear to God, <laughs> if one of these men touches me, I'm going to lose my mind. So then I was like, well, we, we, it, there was kind of like an unwritten rule that like you don't touch me or Dace. Like that was kind of like the thing because I was insane and Dason was like sweet and kind and just didn't want to partake. So like they were like, it was kind of like known, but every other girl was partaking in it and like everybody would laugh. And I don't know why immediately we were like, ew. Right. Um, not to say that other women didn't feel that way. Maybe they did and just didn't want to say anything, but like, did you guys ever have a crush on the same boy from 68th grade and then when you were in college, you found out he was a meninist. <laughs> Cause I did. And he, and that man was one of those spearhead, like he was spearheading this campaign to like do this weird shit. Did that happen to any of you? Cause it happened to me. And I was like, what the heck? Yeah. And he was one of the main people that was like spearheading this, this bullshit in middle school. So like, anyways, fast forward, we're in, we're in the throes of this like game that people are playing. It's Congress week. And Dason's dressed nice. We're all out at recess. Um, I I I went out there after the fact. I didn't see it happen, but um, Dason was crying and she was upset. And immediately I was angry already because when I was younger I was a lot crazier. Like in the sense I was much more unhinged when I was younger. And so I was like, "What happened?" Like, and then all the girls were like trying to take care of Dace, like crowd around her and be like, "It's okay, blah blah." blah. And I was like, "Somebody tell me what happened right now." And so someone said, that, "I'm gonna rip my shirt off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start eating grass immediately." And so someone literally said, "Like, oh, so and so um, slapped Dayson." Like her, my I, butt, not my yeah, face. her butt. At first, I go on the face, and they were like, "No, She's like so only I'm allowed." To do that. <laughs> and and I did, Just kidding. and that I did. <laughs> um, they were like, "No, it's like that game, remember?" And I was like, "Oh, uh, who was it?" And I was saying, "Days, who was it?" And she was going. No, it's okay. Cause Dayson was so non-confrontational. She still is to this day, but she's so non-confrontational. Um, and she was like, no, it's okay. Like, it's all right. And I said, somebody tell me who it was right now. And then they told me who it was. And I went over there <laughs> and he was with like, they, you know, you stand in groups, like where everybody was like in little groups. Yeah. So Jason was with all the girls and then he was with all these boys. So I, I marched over there, dude. I was a lot smaller than too at the time and I, I went over there and his back was to me and I walked up and I two hands shoved him as hard as I fucking could and he stumbled forward almost fell but he didn't and he was like he turned around and he was like what the, what's your problem I go did you put did you fucking touch my sister that was the first time I ever cussed I remember so vividly that was the first time I ever like cussed uh leisurely and I was like, you fucking touched my sister. I was like, and I just started screaming. And then I was like, I swear to God, if you ever touch my sister again, I'm going to fucking kill you. That's what I started saying. <laughs> and then, uh, Dason's friends like pulled me back 
And they were, and then he was like, I, it was a dare. It was a dare. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I was like, I was insane. I, I went to go hit him, but someone stopped me from hitting him. Dude, you know who fucking stopped me the first time from hitting him? Like, blocked me? That fucking meninist bitch. Yeah. He was like, what's your problem? He literally caught my hand and, like, pushed him and I said, get your hands off me. I started talking like a grown man. <laughs> Son, you best get out of the way. <laughs> Unhand me. <laughs> Unhand me, villain. <laughs> Let me out of Yeah. So... I got, I got one like, really good shove in there though, but yeah, that's all I got. And then I started, I was kicking and screaming and I was red and sweating and it was really, and this was like, Drew, stop, right? Cause I was like going insane. And then uh, we went home, we told our mom, uh, she called his dad and then he got in trouble and then he had to call Dason and apologize. Did he write you a letter? Something like that. Yeah, he he apologized, but like, fuck that guy forever. And then my mom told me that she was proud of me for what I did. And she said, did you get any hits? And I go, no, they blocked me. It's the worst feeling. Yeah. And she was like, damn. And I, had, I told her, I think I went in too hot. You know, I should have just sneak attack. I should have went up and just fucking molly whopped him from the back, the back of his head. Like, I think the shove got the message across. <laughs> Nothing's more embarrassing. Like <laughs> I would shove to the ground. I would rather someone like sneak attack, slap me, yeah, than shove me out of nowhere. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because you trip and fall, you look so silly. <laughs> and that's all I could think was like, I just kept thinking like, what am I gonna do when I go over there? And when I, as I was walking, I was like, I'm gonna push that bitch so hard, like, and he had a backpack. <laughs> So I was nothing but paper. There yeah, no there was nothing but one mechanical pencil in there. <laughs> I literally walked up. I shoved him so hard. He stumbled. He stumbled like to his knees, but he didn't like fall fall, which is what I wanted. Yeah. Um, and then my mom told me, if this ever happens again, you can't tell people you're going to kill them because that's a threat and I'll get in trouble. And I was like, what I, I meant that shit when I said it. She goes, that's why I'm telling you don't say that. And I was like, all right. <laughs> so, <laughs> So that's the story of the first. So see, like when people tell me like, she maybe doesn't even do. Yeah. You're so wrong, dude. So I did that shit when I was like 11. Sister. Yeah. <laughs> how, old, how old were you in? I was grade. 13. So you're probably 11. Yeah, I was 11. There you go. And I was 11 and 5'4". <laughs> <laughs> same height as me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we were the same height. <laughs> yeah, that's when I started catching up to you in height. So mm -hmm. yeah. And it's even more like menacing yeah. <laughs> an 11 year old that big shoving into the ground yeah girl you're right too. <laughs> and a girl you're gonna let it you're gonna let a chick do you like that <laughs> <laughs> so this one's from shakira and she said i used to eat the corners of pages of books in my house but only the corners eventually my parents sat me down with every single book i can't remember how many there were but there was a lot with all the corners missing and confronted me about it. When they asked me why, I said, I don't know. I just love the taste of book paper. Then they asked why only the corners. And I said, it's kind of like taking that first bite of a slice of pizza. And then they stopped buying me books after. <laughs> I'm a little speechless. I'm not going to lie to you. Is it? Is it just it, like kept was going? That, was that ghost written by your cat Henry? <laughs> he doesn't eat books. He eats paper bags. But he munches on them like, like a little hole puncher. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna record him. The face he makes is so funny, dude. You ate the corners of so many books that your parents were like intervention. Let's sit. Do down. you think she did like groups of pages or page by page, or do you think she did the whole book? I think she would do like groups of like five and then like rip all of them clean and then like chew it and be like, all right, I'll revisit this tomorrow. That's enough for today. Yeah. The fact that your parents were like, let's see if she stops. Cause there's no way your parents didn't notice. Like, especially if it was like, if you're around the same age as us and this is when you were a child, like, you know, TV wasn't as big, yeah. neither was the internet. So I, yeah, the first book, I think it was like the magic tree house. Yeah. So like, you know, it, your you had to be munching for a while for your parents to be like like were your parents like maybe this is like a phase or something i'm yeah. gonna wait it out and then it got so bad to the point where your parents are like let's sit her down and have a talk hey what the fuck is wrong with you 
They go, right, what's all this then? Did you say, like, you said to them at your, like, child, bear, like, your child age, you said, it's kind of like biting that first piece of pizza. You said that to them? <laughs> if you were, and then they said, I've heard enough. If you were my child, I might be afraid of you. <laughs> if you if you were doing that unprovoked and then that's what you said to me, I might be a little afraid of you. I agree. I might lock my door when I go to sleep at night. All- yeah, I'd be like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? What does that mean? You know that meme on TikTok where they're like, did you kiss him or sleep with him? And she's like, I slept with him. He's like, okay. And he gets to play fast. That's what he's like. It's like taking the first bite of pizza. He's like, okay. <laughs> you know what I think of this? <laughs> Such a fucked up parallel, but like, what'd your poop look like? I oh, I'm just All saying, like, your, is your digestive system okay? Yeah. I, you know, what I think like it's kind of like puppies, like how they, like my puppy, like he'll eat his own shit if I don't stop him. Yeah. So it's like it. And it's, Humans are saying apparently, apparently it's normal for them to do that because when they're puppies, because they're like looking for minerals that they don't have, so they'll like there. eat their own shit. But that's why you give him little, I, that's why I'm giving him those poo bites and they've helped him not eat his own shit anymore. Is that what your parents are doing? <laughs> like, are you seeking minerals from those books or like? like carbon. Yeah. <laughs> Ink. I love carbon. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I might be a little afraid of you. I'm not going to lie. I hope you're okay now. I hope your book munching has stopped. What if she did that so she didn't have to read and she could watch TV whenever she wants? Then you're, you, you know what? If that's the case, the rest of us are playing checkers and you're playing chess. Yeah. You're two steps ahead of me. I, and genuinely, I don't so want to. I know it'll make this nonsense. I, I have as, to eat the books. At that point, <laughs> you're so far ahead in the game. I, I'm afraid of you still. Like, I don't want to. You Whatever. It's your world. I'm just living in it at that point. Okay. This one's from JJ. She said one time when she was really mad at her parents, she can't remember what they did, but it was valid. She emptied out their lube and replaced it with water. You fucking super villain. And how did you know what that was being used for? Maybe she thought it was clear water. She's on no more. She knew it wasn't water when you fucking spray it out. It doesn't have the consistency of water. She's 16 doing it. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but it was valid. Was it? It was valid. <laughs> It was valid for you to injure your, your <laughs> fucking parents. Ew. <laughs> I just think of it like being in the tube and it's like in, in the, like the clear bottle yeah. and it's like contact solution at that point. Like yeah. it's not it's not sticky at all. It's no. literally. Yeah, yeah. They'll shake it up and be like, what the fuck? Why is it swishing so much? But see, like, why that? Like of all the things you could have done. like You're not going to have comfortable <laughs> SEX. <laughs> Not on my watch. Not on my watch. But see, like, why? Like, that's like so sinister, Loki. <laughs> like, why would you do that? They like, do something they, they don't expect. That's why, huh? Never let them know your next move. Yeah. The, the fact, fact that you're fucking up their personal time, that's on some next level shit. Like, how old were you when you did that? Super. Villain. That's why I said, how did you know what that was for? Because you had to have known to some extent what it was used for. It's like almost. It's almost like so. It's almost like indirectly layered yeah. because you're like, that's purely for pleasure. And you're like, they're not going to have that on None my watch. None of that. I'm, no. not, I'm not having a pleasurable time and neither will you. <laughs> that's that's low key evil, bro. <laughs> like some of you are so calculated. It's a little concerning to me. I'm going to send these to the FBI. <laughs> I hope it was worth it. <laughs> this one's from Allison. And she said, my favorite snack was dog food. I would lift up the bottom of my shirt, scoop, like hold it up like this and scoop handfuls of dog food into my little shirt pouch and walk around the house eating it. My mom tried stopping me, but I would always sneak it when she wasn't looking. And she got so concerned that she took me to the doctor to ask if it was safe. The doctor asked if I was having regular bowel movements. And when my mom said yes, the doctor said he didn't see a problem with it. I've been clean off the kibble for many years, but every now and then the smell of dog's food takes me back to my childhood. That one hurt my stomach a little bit, dude. <sighs> that really is like my puppy eating his own poop. Yeah. Like, what are you looking? Your mom must have been going bonkers. Like, this sounds so mean, but like, I like stories like that. I'm like, I'm good. I don't need kids. Yeah. Like, I don't need them. It's okay. 
I have to not only make sure they're alive, but I have to make sure they don't eat my fucking dog food. <laughs> like, like to the, the point where your mom probably had to hide it from you and you were still finding it like, like, like an <laughs> addict. It's like, she's a dick. You're like, yeah. Like, like the, the way, way that you were fiending for like dog. Food. You said every now and then it takes me back in a good way. She's like, ooh. You reminisce like, like, like core memory. You know what I mean? Like, oh my God, dude. If, if my kid was doing that, I'm like, I'm taking it back to the store and returning you. <laughs> I'd like a new one. There she is. I'd like a new one. Yeah, you call the cops on your own kid. The way your mom was probably up late at night, like, dude, how do I... <laughs> keep this bitch from eating dog food bro she's like she won't eat regular food i have to feed her dog food Can you just like cuz like you're eating it you're walking around eating it like goldfish <laughs> yeah dude just like little snacky like oh my god that's so concerning to me <laughs> that makes me sick loki i am glad to hear you're clean now Clean off the kibble, as you so eloquently put. <laughs> okay, this is from Hannah, and she said, I used to eat my mom and grandma's lipstick, like, in all caps, crazy. <laughs> she said, leave me alone in a room with a tube of lipstick, and it would be a god. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking funny. Lipsticks taste so nasty. We ate that lip gloss. Gloss we is kids. different, but lipstick because it has that like specific like lipstick Listen, smell. I'm not gonna sit on a high horse when I I'm myself, better than you. When Hannah. I myself have eaten makeup, <laughs> like I'm not gonna sit on a high horse. See, that, that makes more sense, sense, sense to me than, than dog food. Dog. Food. I agree. <laughs> that makes more sense to me. Again, maybe that's just me on a high horse, but like yeah. One time when we were little, we you know like they have those like play kid makeup like yeah. yeah. I remember one time we were playing with it and you were like, let me do your face. And we did it. And when I woke up, my face was all swollen and I had a rash. And it was when I learned I had eczema. Eczema. And then my mom said, Jason can't wear the makeup anymore, but Drew can because Jason's yeah. allergic to it. And I <laughs> Story of her life, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> and it was a goner. That's fucking funny. Leave me in a room with a tube of dis- <laughs> di- uh, lipstick. Hello. <laughs> I would literally um, see like I just picture your parents like consistently hiding things from you guys and then you guys finding it like that would drive me nuts like a dog. Yeah, (laughs) I'm going to find that lipstick. So help me God. I'm going to find that lipstick. (laughs) You can count on it. What kind of lipstick? I'm so curious. What was your preference? Like Mac, Clinique? I'm trying to think. Revlon. Yeah, I was trying to think. Maybelline. She's like, Revlon is good. Do you like do you like reds, plums, what she <laughs> nudes? Yeah, <laughs> cool tones, warm tones. Yeah, red it. tones, undertones. She's like, I don't discriminate. It all tastes good. Do you still eat lipstick? Does the smell of it take you back? <laughs> do you put it in? Do you sh- put it on and then you go? <laughs> do you put it in your shirt pocket and walk around the house munching? Just a bunch of lipstick. She just cuts them all off in her shirt. <laughs> you just put them in a bowl and yeah. you eat them with a fork. Yeah. Like you're eating salad. All right, friends, we're going to take a quick break to talk about our friends over at Creeps and Crimes. So this is a podcast hosted by Morgan and Taylor. They are former college roommates and best friends, and they cover conspiracy, paranormal, and true crime cases. Morgan is our Creeps host, and Taylor is the crime host. So they post every Thursday, and they have done so since October 1st, 2020. They've literally never missed a Thursday. They do bonus episodes on creepy accounts, a.k.a. listener stories, and those are posted on the 5th of every month, and sometimes there's a Reddit special. And episodes to binge, there's 95 regular episodes and 119 episodes overall. We love the commitment. So the way that their episode structure works, they have an intro where they do between eight to 10 minutes of chats and laughs. Then they do Let's Get Creepy, which is Morgan's segment. And that's where they go over conspiracy or paranormal cases. And then they wrap up with Taylor's true crime case. And in this one, Taylor will cover all types of true crimes in her segment and even works with the families to help share their loved ones' stories. So some of their top episodes include uh, Tupac Shakur, Life Murder Conspiracies, this one's in season two, episode 87, as well as Arlene Naomi Proctor and Johnny Gosh in this 
episode is in season two, episode 86. So if y'all are interested, make sure you check out their podcast. It's available everywhere you can find podcasts. And now we'll get back to the episode. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this one's from KT. Mm-hmm. She said, in elementary school, what was wrong with you guys in elementary school? No, for real. Like, what's going on? She said, in elementary school, I would secretly go to my parents' closet and eat fire matches. I really liked that salty taste. A match? I like how you specified fire matches as if there's any other kind of match. <laughs> Babe, a match? And she put, I really liked that salty so eat a chip. What the fuck is wrong with some of you? I just want to talk just for a second. Respectfully, what the fuck are you on, bro? What does that mean? I like how it matches smell. I don't want to eat them. The fact that you specified fire matches, I'm all, yeah. So a match? So those ones, so yeah. matches. Got it. Maybe there's different ones we don't know about. Oh my God, did your parents find out and rush you to the fucking ER? Because I fucking would have. All that wood in your stomach. <laughs> that flammable wood? Dude, the way that you could have gotten it stuck in your throat, like that fucking reed in the clarinet, like Squidward, and it's like, dun, dun, dun. the way you could have literally killed yourself doing that. Holy shit. A match? Yeah. She put matches. What's with so many of you putting things in your mouths? Like, I don't know. At, a, at an old enough age that it's concerning. Like sure. when you're a baby like and you two, put like yeah, when yeah. you're like yeah like a child child and you just put everything in your mouth that's one yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I'm assuming you're like old, you're old enough to go do this in private, so you're too old. Mm-hmm. What? You just go in the closet and be like, "Time for me time." <laughs> Girl, what? Ah, a second to myself. <laughs> I deserve this. We worked hard today, gal. Yeah, we earned it. How, do you think she would just swallow them whole or chew on them or suck on she them? She probably like would bite them in half, but then they're like shards Shooters, of glass yeah. at that point. Like, how did you eat? Like a match is, is considerably long. Like it's like long enough to like make you choke. This one's from, I'm sorry if I, oh, this person. I hope the match is person. I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay. Yeah. I hope you haven't Katie, suffered any. I hope you're okay. Yeah. I hope you haven't suffered any long-term effects from that. Okay. That is concerning to me. This next person said not to use their name, but they said, anytime my parents or my siblings would make me upset, I would take things they would need and hide them in my room. Like car keys right before my parents were to go grocery shopping. I'd take the batteries out of remotes because I knew to get extra, they would have to look for a while. <laughs> and to get said item back, I'd make them deal. I'd make a deal with them for something or for a favor. <laughs> not you fucking guess. wheeling and dealing. Like you're like, what do you need batteries? That's crazy. I think I saw a pair. You know what? I could give you batteries if you took me to the movies. Yeah. I, I mean, I might have some. But we were at Disneyland with my brother, and I said, hey, take my card and go buy us popcorn. Us, meaning me and him. And he goes, okay, I'll go. If, and I go, if what? He goes, if you go with me. Why the fuck would I give you my card? Get over there and go See, get it. See, that's a bad negotiator. You seem like you were running a biz- a small business yeah. out of your room. You could be like the top of a pyramid scheme. The something. way that you're like, you're like, you're loitering in the living room. What are you looking for? Car keys? That's crazy. I think I saw some in my room, but I think I'd remember for sure if you took me to the movies That's with my friends. Super funny because I feel like I may have seen them. I might be able to help you out there, but like, what are you willing to give me? Yeah. The fact that you're like <laughs> negotiating deals. No deal. Not, not you manipulating your family. That would drive me nuts. I'm not going to lie. Like if you kept hiding shit, like <laughs> I'd make, I'd literally go in your room and turn it upside down looking yeah. for it. And then oh, I bet you they did that. And then she's like, she's just like, you're never going to find Wait, it. Wait, what are you guys looking for? Your car keys? You're literally never going to find it. You could look all day and you're never going to find it. But maybe you could if you did something for me. Yeah. I don't know. Just like, what are you willing to, what's in it for me? I, I guess is my just question. Just a thought. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> That's super villain shit, dude. Are you the lead of a mafia now? Yeah. She turns around in her chair. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> interesting. It sounds like you're looking... <laughs> Okay, this next one's from Selena, and she has two of them. So this first one is, one of my earliest memories is hiding in a laundry basket under a blanket with a bottle of lotion, 
cherry almond jergens have you ever used that lotion no it does not smell i've good. used jergens but not the cherry almond one smells so bad okay and she put and pumping it into my mouth it tastes really good in my memories why the laundry basket was well, that she, just like she's in it with a blanket over it so I, no one can see her I, okay but like she's laying on her back going like, <laughs> like a shot girl no i think she's on her hands and knees and so she's going <laughs> like a psycho is what i think <laughs> Okay, this other one is a few years later, when I was five or six, I developed a taste for grape flavored chewable Tylenols. Do you remember those? Yeah. Um, she said I would fake a pain, <laughs> fake pain or headaches in order to get them. And my mom's boyfriend started calling me a pill pumper. <laughs> she goes, that's how I landed the nickname pill, which I was called for years. She goes, honestly, I would probably still respond to it to this day. <laughs> the way our families just humble us so quickly, bro. Like, you, I bet you, popper? I, I bet, bet you, you that that little joke made you stop. Like, it no. made you go. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. No, it it was just so embarrassing that you're like, I don't even want to eat these. Who anymore. told him? That's <laughs> so the lotion one. What are your thoughts on that? That lotion smells so bad. That's like, unhinged. I don't bro. think it smells like, good. Yeah. I again like. This is so fucked, but like, you know, like the Jackie Kennedy sheet metal eating noise. That's what it, that's what I picture in my head when you say you're, you're putting yourself in a little enclosed area. Like you made a laundry basket and you're eating it frantically in there. I picture that noise. Like, going, ha, da, da, da. you know what I mean? And they pull the blanket. <laughs> She's like, there's <laughs> lotion all over her mouth. That would terrify me if I, I if I found you doing that shit again, I'm taking you back to the store. Take this one back. You know what I mean? This one's broken. I don't want to the fire station and leave her there. I don't want to deal with it anymore. (laughs) I'm glad your family didn't. I do remember those grape flavored chewable Tylenols, but I don't remember me liking how they taste. I I didn't like like medicine at all. No, it was dude. One of my biggest pet peeves is the way that Drew takes medicine. Yeah. Like, you know, you take like, if you're taking like three Tylenol because you have a headache, she has to do one at a time and she no one can talk to her while she's doing it. I just, I'm not someone who takes well to like taking pills unless it's birth control. For some reason, that's easy. I could take that yeah. hella easy. But like something about big pills, I think it's because when I was a kid, I used to gag really easily when I would take any yeah, sort like of medicine. My mom was trying to give her one of these grape flavored Tylenols. No, if they're chewy, I could eat them. It was anytime I had to drink a liquid oh, like or Motrin. take a big pill, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I, it made me gag so violently that it would be annoying because it'd be like, all right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so to this day, if I take Tylenol, I have to like take it slowly. Otherwise <laughs> I'll throw up. So there you go. Uh, I was going to say though, about your family calling you pill. I choked on a peanut when I was a baby and my family still calls me peanut sometimes. So yeah, I choked pretty violently on a peanut shell and then, uh, my life was saved. And then, and then Drew isn't allowed to eat the candies that you suck on. <laughs> And then one time again, I just choke so easily. Like she's so worried about having fun, can't even <laughs> process anything else that's going on. I can't multitask with. I couldn't multitask with stuff like that for so long. Like I couldn't. I couldn't run and have fun and eat a hard candy at the yeah. same time. Like yeah, you can like suck. I couldn't do that because I would choke immediately, and someone would have to save my life. I have choked on hard candies more times than I'm willing to admit. Yeah, the Heimlich so like, maneuver has been performed. In our yeah, 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 like choked to the point where like my life had to be saved. I'm not saying like ah, oh that was a close one. I'm saying like <laughs> I literally was like <gasps> like turning yeah. blue and like gonna die. Yeah, and someone had to save my one life. Time, one time, my dad had to save my life multiple yeah. times when I was eating he hard was candies. Eating the Heimlich maneuver, he just stick his finger in and flick it out. Yeah, that's like I yeah, that's a parent thing. I do that with my own dog yeah. sometimes. I literally stick my finger in his whole mouth and like scoop it out. But like, yeah, like what my dad literally had to like stick his hands in my throat to like pull out a fucking hard candy. And then he like hit my back really hard and it made me cough it out. Um, The actual Heimlich maneuver has been performed on me several times. Less embarrassing. (laughs) Anyways. Okay. Just too excited to eat hard candy. Like one time I was playing with my light bright. Is that what it's called? And then my mom had this little jar of candy. So I was eating them. And she was like, why can't I have one? I was like, you no, I just ate one. I was opening one. They said, you're not allowed to eat those. And I was like, what are you going to do? Tell on me. Like, I was like, whatever. And she would. She would tell on me. 
But I was like, it's fine. And I ate it. I immediately started choking. Like immediately, like instant karma. Like so I was laying on my belly playing and she laid next to me. And, then she like, and I was like, I told you not. And Daisy was like, that's why you're not supposed to eat those. And then she ran and got my dad. And then my dad had to save my life. And then Drew threw up and I didn't want to talk. Yeah, I threw up. That's how that's how wedged it got like literally if this is your your throat and it's like this big yeah right the candy went like this like and it was blocking my airways and my ability to swallow <laughs> and literally my dad had to stick his fingers down my fucking throat to like try and get it to come up and that's when he hit me and i coughed it out and then i threw up everywhere and then Jason didn't talk to me for the next two days because she's afraid of throw up. So she literally, we have, we have like a three seater car. We went to go pick my mom up from school. My mom was in college at the time and we went to go pick her up and she made me sit in the very last row and she sat in the front with my dad. I was like, dude, she was like, sit back there just in case. That's what she was telling me. Just in case. I'm all, I only threw up because I choked on the candy. <laughs> and I couldn't like look her in the eye. I was all, Drew, stop. <laughs> And then my dad made me do it because like I ruined everybody's day by throwing up. <laughs> Sue me. She's back there all <laughs> fucking knocked out. And I was the whole time I, we were driving. I was sitting here just staring at her, making sure she wasn't going to throw up. I literally like I threw up and then I was like, whatever. Like I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> You're like back to playing. I was like, get away from me. And then my dad was like, leave your sister alone. And I was like, I I'm not, I, I literally told her, I'm not sick. I was choking. <laughs> now back to this light break. <laughs> candy in her fucking mouth. Anyways. Okay, we're going to end on this one. This one's really funny. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. So this is from, is this person's name also Selena? That's funny. So this is from Selena. And she said, my parents would tell me no. So I would get really mad and projectile vomit on them as revenge. <laughs> Speaking of throw up if my kid would do that to me i would literally <laughs> do so <much. laughs> i'd have a nervous breakdown if you did that to me because you're not you know what i'd honestly probably get mad because i'd be like you're not gonna hold me at gunpoint like you're gonna you're gonna vomit on me yeah i'm gonna vomit on you like i would literally start getting <laughs> i'd start getting competitive in that because at that point you have them on the ropes like they have to do anything you say at that point that's kind of wild, bro. That's disgust. Is your is your like throw okay? Because you're going like, okay. Yeah, like is it singed to the fucking brim, bro? Like that's what I'm saying. Like you're not gonna blackmail me. That's what I'm, I would start getting. Mad. Hey, don't you? I'd be like, if you throw up, I swear to God. Yeah, don't you? You swallow that right yeah. now. Put that back inside you. I swear don't. to God. Don't. Don't. Knock don't. it off. Don't. Yeah. Don't. I'm getting scared of all. Okay. 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 I literally, I'd be like, go ahead, do it, do it. Go ahead and do it. I'm not cleaning it up. You do it. That's what I, that's what I would have to do. Yeah. Projectile too. What's your fucking problem? If it's projectile, it could just like spray. Like, yeah. Like the girl in a uh, pitch perfect. Exact. It's my worst nightmare. See what I mean? Like you like this is like this topic is like a perfect thing for like if you really want kids think about if they did that i could what would you do you know what i'm saying like it's the cry. ultimate test i would cry <laughs> what how did you find out you could teach yourself how to do that well, shit we went to disney i know huh? i know you can make yourself throw up but like like physically but, but projectile, projectile yeah. vomit like, like you gotta like, like convince yourself to do it or something like how'd you do that we went to disneyland yesterday and every time i'm standing under a roller coaster i always think of that skit and all that oh my god i know With that one used to make coaster. me sick and yeah. i would cry because i hated it but i loved that show yeah too spooky disgusting that is horrid that's easily worse than the match eater and the table eater, like that is way worse. That is way fucking worse. I would much rather my kid, my kid cherry be, almond jergens or like, like my kid eating Purina dog chow. Like I would rather her be going to town on that than projectile vomit on me when she's upset. No yeah. fucking way. Oh like, my god. Like at the mall and she's like, Can I eat candy? And you're like, No. If you don't give it to me. No, she's just just going. Yeah. <laughs> just Dude, like a fucking, oh my God, like a baby, like a bird trying to feed its kids. Kind of serial killer, if you think about it. That's that. why I said, you're not going to hold me at gunpoint, dude. Don't. 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 Knock it off. That's what I'd be doing. Go ahead, throw up. See if I care. That's what I'd do. And I leave. I'd start sprinting ahead of me. Yeah. 
<laughs> Knock it off. Knock, Knock it, it off. off. <laughs> All right, friends, that's going to do it for this week's episode of Two Idiot Girls. Um, if you like this episode, you can listen to all of the audio versions everywhere you listen to podcasts. And you can watch the video version on our YouTube channel. Um, we may or may not have a really cool announcement coming up. Yeah, we may be going on tour soon. Oh, there it is right there. You heard it here first, folks. We may be going on tour soon, so... Maybe you'll be able to see us. Maybe not. Maybe not. But if any of you projectile vomit on me, I'm going to kill you. I literally will, will murder you. Yeah. I'm going to kill <laughs> together. <laughs> but I hope you have a great week and we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.